Welcome to week nine of the 52 week art journal journey. This week we are going to breathe. You will need watercolor paints. A cheap kid set is ideal and you'll see in the video that that is what I'm using. You'll also need paint brushes and of course water in some type of container you can rinse your brushes off in. When you have all of your supplies, let's breathe a painting. The only rule is paint a stroke on the exhale. We can start by putting down a layer of water. As I mentioned, each stroke will be done on the exhale. Inhale while you're putting water or paint on your brush. And then as you slowly exhale, paint a line. It doesn't have to be straight on your paper. After you have a layer of water on your paper, you'll need to choose your first color. You won't want to choose too many different colors to work with. Because you also need to keep in mind that they'll blend. And if you get off count with your exhalations, just start over. Don't feel the need to rush your color selection or applying paint to your brush or rinsing your brush. The purpose is to just take your time. As we breathe and paint in tandem, we force ourselves to relax. I started with a rather wide brush. It allows me to smoothly cover my page with water. You can also use a smaller brush. Whatever feels comfortable. The more important part is focusing on your breathing. As I said, the only real rule, if you want to call it a rule, is to paint on the exhale. So as well as relaxing with our painting this week, let's relax with our journaling. You may have found the last couple of weeks topics a little rough. Today, you're free to write about whatever you would like. Whatever will help you breathe easier. Maybe you do need to take on a tough topic to get some tightness out of your chest.
maybe it's a week to just write on the page adjacent to your breathe painting a reminder to just breathe. If you'd like, you can write about how it felt to do this breathing of a painting. How did focusing on your breathing and matching your paint strokes to your breath affect your stress level or your mood. Did you find it relaxing? If you haven't yet found it relaxing, keep going a little longer. Give your body and your mind a chance to relax, to slow down. To release any tension. And use your journaling time the same way. Don't force it. Just sit still and quiet for a moment. And then write as much or as little as you feel like. Sometimes we just need a break. Time to breathe. And that's part of the importance of boundaries. To as much as possible, protect some time for rest. I'm so glad that you have chosen to take some time for creative self-care and are allowing me to encourage you to do so and keep doing so. I have really learned how important it is to my mental and my emotional and my spiritual health. We are not meant to be constantly busy constantly striving. We are meant to be creative. We can't be our healthiest if we don't give ourselves opportunities to be creative in ways that are meaningful to us. I, for years, refused to make regular time 
to make art. It didn't matter how helpful it was to my mental health. It felt like a waste of time with everything else that needed to be done. With everything else that seemed so much more important. But feeling mentally and emotionally healthy, doing things that help us feel healthier is important. Our mental and emotional health affect every area of our lives. We can't be as effective elsewhere if we're not filling that need in us. hope you have found this video relaxing. Whether you are painting along with me right now or will when you're done, I hope you find this art practice as relaxing as I did filming the painting for this video. I hope the writing you choose to do loosens up something tight in your chest if there's something that needs to be unknotted and I hope that if today your writing is as simple as just breathe it's a reminder when you turn back through your pages in the future to take the time to make the time for creative self-care and to breathe deeply and fully. If you found value in this video, please like, share, subscribe. Thank you for joining me on the 52-week art journal journey.